everyone welcome to the Sila Gotra Maniola channel today's video will be about dog's food uh, more precisely how I choose uh, food for my dogs which principles I use this video is not about kibble I don't um, use kibble I don't think it's food for dogs or for anyone else so for those of you that feed kibble this video is not for you but for those of you who wants to feed um, natural diet to dogs you might want to listen what I do um, this is just my personal um, opinion and this is how I approach to feeding my dogs this is not recommendation I'm not a vet or um, have any education in nutrition of any kind this I've been feeding my dogs like that for eight years eight years and they're all healthy I raised my puppies on natural diet um, it's either raw or cooked if you offer a young puppy cooked or raw food they will go for raw they don't know what cooked food is so puppies instincts are pure so that tells me that raw is what um, is natural for them plus dogs can survive in the wild eating um, whatever they can catch and that would be an ideal complete meal for the dog um, like let's say caught uh, dog caught a rabbit and ate it um, everything guts and fur sometimes it happens to my dogs um, um, occasional rabbit come on their way and of course they eat it um, everything uh, head and toes included so to me this is a complete meal but of course in our world we don't hunt <laughs> and uh, of course uh, dogs don't hunt to provide for themselves and uh, our meat lives in the stores and my first choice would be go to the stores uh, grocery stores for humans and buy whatever meat I can find in there, of course, with um, reasonable pricing. Sometimes there is uh, discounts on turkeys around Christmas, um, Thanksgiving Day and stuff like that. So I do my research and I see if there is some, you know, discounted uh, stuff because meat is pretty expensive. So in the grocery stores, I would buy anything, uh, meat from turkey to little quails, um, beef, goat, um, sometimes duck, but we do have a farm and we have our own ducks, so it is rare I would buy duck in the store. Um, but yes, um, from, you know, everything. And dogs eat um, like chicken, for example, I chop it for dog appropriate sizes and I give to each individual dog a meaty bones, the bones in it and uh, the, the meat on top of it and that is a complete um, meal. Um, this is my preferred method to give the whole thing not grounded because dogs have teeth and dogs teeth um, intended to chew and this is how um, I prefer to feed it and my dogs prefer to eat it um, exactly the same way. Sit down. No. Um. <laughs> Another thing. Yes, so let's say yes, meat, everything meat. Sorry, I have uh, a lot of uh, distraction here. Uh, so the second thing is, uh, of course, uh, we get organs, um, muscle meat, and then organs are essential. So we get organs mostly from the local butchers. They come in pre-frozen um, packages. So if I get a big chunk and it's defrosted, I will grind it myself and package in a smaller containers um, to defreeze for one meal. If um, they come pre-packaged and already frozen, I will not defreeze it. I will just defreeze one um, or two chunks and, and I cut it and add to the, um, to the dog's um, ground meat. 
or whatever they have or if they have a meaty bone they will have a piece of liver or kidney or heart um, with that so they will have um, organs some sort of organs to it um, and that would be that for grocery stores for meat so now there is a, a lot of commercial uh, raw dog food out there it is very convenient because it's pre-packaged in a smaller portions and you can defreeze it um, as many as you like for one meal but um, not all of it is good some of it looks like soaked in water kibble and it smells disgusting so when i choose to buy food from the companies that make uh, raw dog food i look at the thing and it should look like meat similar to what you see in a grocery stores like ground beef or ground pork it should look sort of like that of course um, it depends on the mixture sometimes they add organs in it so there should be organs of liver or kidneys it's uh, darker pieces there could be a green tripe in there uh, which is uh, green pieces <laughs> again but um, what sometimes it comes looking like who knows what that is and my dogs would not touch most of the uh, commercial raw um, dog food but i found few companies here in british columbia canada um, simply raw makes um, uh, beef with organs and it's always fresh and we buy those from a simply raw green tripe we buy from cruda meat packers um, here in british columbia and uh, surrey um, i think they have several uh, stores but again green tripe mm -hmm. is um, if you're not aware it's a stomach of um, chewing animals like uh, cows and <laughs> lamb and uh, even rabbits <laughs> Uh, eating grass animals and uh, it's very very healthy uh, it's packed with enzymes and stuff like that but uh, this video is not about benefits of the tribe it just um, uh, what I'm saying is the uh, commercial dog food makers if they say it's a complete and balanced meal <laughs> they say the same thing about kibble um, uh, I don't uh, I don't believe so <laughs> anyway so uh, when I choose commercial uh, raw dog food I would go by the look first so it looks like meat by the smell it smells like meat and then I will trust my dogs to tell me if it's edible or not if they eat it I will buy again from that company if it's completely non-edible and looks very suspicious I will give it to our chickens and ducks they love meat if you didn't know ducks and chickens eat meat <laughs> they eat worms as well but if meat available they will eat it fresh eggs um, sometimes a raw dog food add eggs in it i don't see why you should feed your dog pre-frozen eggs when you can um, take it from the free uh, fridge and give them fresh egg um, again they put um, in raw uh, food commercial food um, carrots and uh, dogs don't digest carrots dog um, unable to digest carrots it comes out, it comes out um, the way it went in um, in exactly the same maybe they will chew it of course carrots are harmless and dogs um, can chew the carrots all they want uh, there's nothing wrong with that but from what I see I've never seen a dog that was able to digest carrots. I never, um, sometimes, um, some time ago, <laughs> I was a city girl and I would go in the parks and sometimes people didn't clean up poop after their dogs and I could see which dog was fed what. Uh, like uh, kibble dogs have these piles of huge poops and foul smelling. And um, commercial raw dog food almost always have carrots and um, the poop would have carrots i just uh don't understand why people kept buying the food that dog obviously can't digest it just adds to the weight and you're paying for the carrots just uh, you know give your dog a carrot if they like it 
it's uh, pretty cheap and they can enjoy that carrots but why pay for something that uh, um, um, you know that comes in the meat give them the meat so that's the principles uh, for commercial food um, so it is just meat and organs sometimes I buy very rare I would buy poultry in the dog stores but sometimes I buy duck uh, bone in in simply raw just because the bone is grinded to the fine consistency and I buy it for the puppies at times because uh, when they, they're just getting their teeth it's hard for them to chew but most puppies at eight weeks are able to eat chicken necks at softer bones and um, chicken uh, breast uh, like uh, the cartilage and um, uh, the bone uh, where the chicken breast sits on so those are soft bones the backs uh, puppies can eat uh, those uh, soft um, bones in store-bought chickens and uh, yeah so i raised many liters and all my puppies been um, fed raw chicken legs and necks and wings and um, they all survived and <laughs> they're all healthy and they all doing well but if you afraid there is this big misconception about the raw poultry bones um, you can ask the butcher to grind it for you my dogs don't like grinded um, poultry even though i can grind it myself i have a commercial grinder and i sometimes grind stuff for puppies before they're able to chew but the butcher can grind the whole chicken for you or full um, turkeys uh, with the bones in and this way your dog will choke or I don't know um, some people are really really worried about that I have a separate video about bones you might uh, find it interesting to watch but um, I give my dogs bones and they eat any bones um, and specifically about bones you can watch another video for that so that is how I choose uh, food like meat. It should be meat and organs mixture. It's um, of course it's super easy um, to defreeze. It's pre-packaged, um, but um, that's what I do. Another suggestion would be to um, whoever have one dog only, um, like a lamb comes in the leg or shoulder, you can ask the butcher to slice it for you while it's still frozen. And then you can keep it in one bag and defreeze one piece um, and feed the dog. Uh, it's much simpler than it seems. The other thing is that is circulating how to calculate the balanced uh, nutrition for the dogs. I don't break my head about that. The uh, key to successful uh, raw feeding of dogs is to have variety. Um, so chicken in the morning, beef in the evening, next morning you'll have duck or rabbit or whatever. So the variety of food will provide dogs with everything they need. They don't need to eat fish and beef in the same meal. That is actually disgusting how, <laughs> I'm sorry, <laughs> how commercial dog food uh, makers make um, in, in the same mixture fish and some other um, protein like chicken. It's just bizarre. Um, the, the, whole, uh, the whole idea is bizarre anyway. But uh, um, yeah, so regarding fish. Only two of my dogs would eat raw fish, um, the, uh, the rest of uh, the dogs will not, but they like it dry, so I will dehydrate fish for them. If your dog eats um, raw fish, this is great, uh, like scumbria or sardines are great, fatty fish, um, salmon of course. Um, so in any way, um, as I said, my dogs love dehydrated fish and that's what I'm doing. And when there is a season, I would dehydrate um, some fish for them and they will have that. Um, so that's regarding food and proteins. Uh, so what you say about veggies? Well, uh, veggies, I give my dogs greens. So um, if you look at the wolves, in the wild they would eat grass they would eat all the berries 
so my dogs too they eat grass sometimes i would um, collect um, the grass they eat and i would add it to the mix mixture i grow my own lettuce and kale um, and if it's a <laughs> if it's a lot i would um, uh, freeze it and then add it to the meat that um, uh, after when uh, when the you know i'm ready to feed um, for the most part i don't add anything to the meat but i would make them salads um, if they i want them to have uh, greens um, i do have a video how i make my salad uh, all of my dogs love it none would refuse i think that the um, the trick is to juice the salad and um, ingredients of course important but um, juicing the salad will give them the preferred consistency they don't like uh, to have lettuce crunchy they like it um, a little bit softer so I juice it like that with my hand here eat my shoe there you go. Um, and of course uh, I have um, we have in BC lots of blueberries so uh, we buy blueberries from the farmers uh, frozen in the winter and of course fresh in the summertime uh, when the season and season starts in May uh, salmon berries will be ready soon and then strawberries and raspberries and uh, blackberries so my dogs would eat um, all berries all summer long um, and that's uh, their uh, veggies <laughs> and vitamins and all that uh, natural stuff grass uh, lettuce um, some of my dogs like cucumbers uh, one of my dog like tomatoes all my dogs love avocado and as i said i don't add it to food i give extra like if we have avocado uh, it's a season and Costco we buy a bunch and each dog get a scoop um, or you know spoon of avocado or couple spoons of avocado um, it's pretty expensive to feed dogs avocado, but if you live in Mexico, <laughs> that would be lovely. Um, uh, if you have any questions, uh, you are welcome to put in comment. But as I said, um, the advertisers for kibble got it right. <laughs> the first portion that dogs crave um, meat, same as wolves. There's this advertisement going, but then somehow that uh, uh, meat transforms to this dry kibble in the bag. And um, I just don't see how those two products related. It's um, quite similar um, to offer to build a house from these big logs of wood and then, um, you know, sell the ashes or something like that. To me, it sounds about the same. But uh, if you have any comments or questions, you're welcome to put it in the comments. This is not a debate that I'm doing it wrong or right. This is how I do it. And I've done it, as I said, for many years. All my dogs are healthy. In the last eight years, I've been at the vet uh, for medical reasons exactly twice. Once, my dog had mastitis after pregnancy. And the second time, my dog uh, fell from the cliff and injured her paw, so she had to have an orthopedic surgery, which I shouldn't have done. <laughs> it would heal on its own. She didn't break the bone, but she um, tore the uh, ligament. But um, the surgery was with complications and stuff like that. But uh, what I'm saying is um, the food they eat, that makes them healthy. All my puppies are super healthy. Um, also, um, the puppy's development uh, very much depends on what mamas eat. Pregnant mama eating. Um, whoever watched my videos about pregnant moms and uh, puppies from zero to two weeks see uh, what I feed mama and. Um, how much she eats and uh, she ate the same thing while she was pregnant so all this fresh food is how puppy is developing and they born um, strong and healthy and vigorous we never have failing puppies or anything like that so if you would like to try it would be uh, great for your dog and for the health of your dog as you see um, dogs been around humans uh, for thousands of years and they ate whatever humans gave them 
including scraps. Oh yes, um, I do give my dogs my leftover of dinner, and sometimes I uh, make um, extra pancakes um, so dogs can have some. And if it is salty or spicy, it's okay. My dogs can tolerate it, and there is nothing wrong with a little bit garlic or a little bit of um, spices. Uh, they're doing just fine. And uh, um, as you see, as I was saying, dogs. No, no, chush. Dogs survive for thousand years without kibble, and with the coming of kibble. Uh, somehow the vet office is growing like mushrooms in the woods and I don't believe it's because um, our dogs all of a sudden become um, super ill um, I think there is uh, some uh, correlations with feeding and over vaccinating our dogs um, that's why they require so many vets around and if you're trying to book a vet for whatever reason like puppy um, baby vaccination um, you have to book in advance quite a bit because they booked so um, That tells me that there is a lot of sick dogs out there uh, Well, I hope you like this video even though you maybe don't agree with me, but um, That's how I feel and that's how I feed my dogs and perhaps someone will try Thank you for watching. Goodbye